today we're going to go ahead and review one of my favorite games ever and it's called Supreme Ruler 2020. You can basically pick any country you want around the world and take control of it, take control of its economics, politics, uh, war department, everything. And you can basically take over the whole world. And right here, um, I'm looking through all the countries. There's three different scenarios, okay? Uh, two of them have to be have to do with the United States splitting as you could tell here every uh, state has split into its own country and that's based on the year 2020 and they also have um, uh, before that when uh, there was independent countries in the northern hemisphere as uh, the US Mexico and Canada there's also other countries to choose from South America Africa Middle East Europe everywhere you can choose any country you want and play as it and as you can see here I'm looking through the whole list just to show you here so we got pretty much every country you could think of I'm gonna go ahead and choose the United States um, each country gives you a little description of what state it's in right now and to launch the game just go ahead and click on launch game it starts off with tips you can go ahead and go through all the tips to learn how to do everything you can also click on show me and it'll take you exactly to where it's talking about on the game menu now um, you can just continue here keep continuing and read through the whole thing but the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to do it so here is the map uh, it'll show you everything that there is to know about your country you can zoom out and you can actually watch the whole world I compare this to Google Earth uh, I call it the Google Earth video game <laughs> which is really really cool so it'll show you uh, everything that there is uh, power plants towns forts, military bases, barracks, military complexes, stuff like that, towns, like looking at towns right now. And you can pretty much look at everything. Here's the capital of the US, of course, Washington DC. And if you take over a country's capital, you basically take over the whole country in one whack. So um, I better defend my capital pretty good. I am playing as the United States and I am going to invade the whole world here in a while. No, at least try to but first I want to show you how to use this game first we got land one of the icons is land here and here you can do land inspection take a look at everything you own um, you can also view production but let's go back to land I want to show you some things here you can view military presence clicking on that tab map filters if you want to filter out the map to only view certain things you can do that too and the filters will, will show you um, where everything's at just like it is right now let's go ahead and turn it all off so we don't get confused here all right next is land development and this is very important this is where you can build stuff so you can build agriculture air def air defense and it's split up into four different things civilian uh, industry military and other so you can build a coal mine you can build industrial complexes power plants I'm gonna build a uh, coal power plant right now and so you can build a lot of things and that'll build up your economy your uh, production trading stuff like that you can build military stuff like missile silos missile fabrications fortifications stuff like that barracks fortifications like I said so there's a lot of stuff on there and in other there'll be railroads and uh, regular roads you can build also in the transportation tab you can do that let's go ahead and take a look at the production tab up there and uh, first thing is you can your minister will be doing things automatically for you by clicking on the lock uh, icon there you can actually lock him for you to take complete control but I recommend you keep them on to do the little things that uh, you know you can't control all the time. 
Here's your production list. If it's in red, it means you still need more. It looks like the United States needs to produce more coal and produce more metal ore. Your imports and your exports, you can control them right here. And you can also look at what uh, commodity facilities you have. You can see your consumption usage, how much you're using, trade partners, which we don't have any right now, uh, world trade partners, which we don't have any either right now. Uh, or that I've added to the list at least. Now by double clicking on a country you can actually start a trade or a diplomat, diplomatic um, a trade by double clicking on a country clicking on these tabs right here. Alright we can see right now China is the top producer and, con and, and, con and country that consumes which is no surprise. Alright and here is the research tab. You can research new technologies. And this is and right here first we can uh, adjust how much we invest. We can choose what we want to research, like warfare, stuff like that, warfare, transportation, science. Right now I'm going to go ahead and turn on advanced anti um, armor and electronic warfare. You can see military designs that you want to build. Let's go ahead and make a new tank here. All right, and it's going to be uh, researching now for that new tank. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so you can also build uh, research facilities. And you can watch your known technologies. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at finance. This is very, very interesting here. It'll tell you how much your country's making, your daily expenses. Right now, how it is daily, you can also change it to yearly. But my daily expenses are 24 bill, uh, million. Daily expenses are were 20, 21 million, I believe. So I, w I have about a three or four million um, a profit right there that I get to keep to use for whatever I want. And you can do dip diplomatic exchanges here you could trade anything from technologies to uh, production to treaties to embassy stuff like that alright and by clicking on a country you can go ahead and take a look at everything you could also watch uh, what allies they have if they're uh, UN members You can even see religions, which you know um, isn't really that important, I guess. But uh, well, in the game, I would say. But actually, I think it is because I, if if there's two different religions, I think they're pretty much going to go to war. And when you do go to war, you'll notice that a bunch of countries from the different religions they sometimes uh, join that war. All right. So right now we're looking at operations, and we can go ahead and through operations use spies to infiltrate to spy and do espionage on um, different countries and you could set your uh, configuration settings for your hotspots where your troops are fighting to to do stuff for you different things so right now I'm taking a look at what spies I have uh, available all right so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my recon spies here and I'm going to apply one re uh, recon spy to a certain country. Let's see which one we can choose. Um, let's see, let's do, we're looking at China right now. Let's do China. Yeah, let's do China real quick. I'm going to send a recon spy over there, do some recon, see what's going on over there. All right, he's on his way. It'll take a while for him to get there. I had never really used this spy before. This is the first time I do it, just to, to show you guys. But I never really used one. But uh, I think it takes a while for him to get over there. All right. So right now we're looking at the defense tab. And here you can see everything you have. Uh, settings for your defense. Production, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and make some extra tanks because I'm going to go to war here in a bit against Canada and Mexico. So let's go ahead and build some more tanks. 
uh, to make up for the tanks I'm gonna lose which I'm not gonna lose very much I assume I assume I'm gonna be able to sweep through Canada and Mexico no problem all right now here is where it gets interesting you can actually build nuclear missiles too so I'm gonna build a couple of peace peacemakers or peacekeepers that's what they're called nuclear missiles and uh, these are the buttons where you can deploy them you gotta you gotta select the missile silo and deploy them that way all right and if you go to your defense tab you can actually change if you want to use the nuclear force or not but let's go ahead and build a, a couple more here a couple more units uh, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you here so this is where it's going to show you how much units you have here you can change the defcon from peace to uh, all the way up to high or elevated whatever you, but remember when you when you put def when you go up on defcon uh, you will be spending more money to do that all right here you can mess with uh, military salaries bring them up or down rules of engagement you can change that to whatever you want if you want it to automatically engage what country you go to war at, with it'll do that to this menu all right now here's the missile deployment I was talking about you gotta click on a missile silo and it'll load the missile I really don't like to go to nuclear war because then it ruins all the fun out of it I like to do conventional warfare because it's fun you know you actually go in and invade through the ground this is where you can change if you want to use nuclear nuclear force All right, right now I have it to off alright so that's about it right here uh, you can like I was saying you can change your military um, automated settings right there right now I have it f uh, fully automated so if I go to war with a country right now my troops will move automatically deploy automatically but I like to do it anyway myself just in case because I really don't trust the computer and the computer doesn't move the units the way I want them to all right all right so we're gonna go to war here in a bit we're gonna declare war so right now I'm deploying all my units every single unit I have I'm gonna deploy it land unit deployed air units deployed submarines deployed and naval forces deployed I bet the countries surrounding me right now are shaking in their boots and like, why are they deploying everything they have <laughs> alright so here's all my forces just gonna check them real quick make sure they're all there deployed and right now I have the game on pause. It's been on pause this whole time, but I'm going to show you here in a bit how to how to how to get it started. All right, looks like everything's deployed, ready to go. All right, all right. Here's is where you change the the game speed. You can go from very slow to fastest. I already, I'm going to I went ahead and chose fastest. So I think every second an hour passes by. That, that's how it works. All right. I have all my troops deployed on the borders, and I'm about to invade here in a bit. Let's see how the most powerful country in the world can do against the whole world. <laughs> all right. Let's check the forces in, uh, around the Canadian border. Make sure they're good. And let's go ahead and go to war. Let's declare war against Mexico here. War declared. So my forces there at the Mexico border should automatically start attacking. Now let's go ahead and declare war against Canada. And let's get started. Let's do some land grabbing.
All right, after three hours of gameplay, I was able to take over all of Canada, as you can see here. The red represents what I own, so I own, of course, Alaska was already mine, but all of Canada is mine now. All you really got to do is take over the, the capital of the country, and all of a sudden, the whole country will be yours. All right, so go only after the capital when you go to war. Took over all of Mexico, as you can tell, and right now I'm working on uh, taking over Guatemala. I'm gonna go over, go ahead and send my last forces in it, the last um, wave of forces to finally take it over. All right, that's pretty much uh, it for the tutorial and review on this game. I really love this game. Like I said, I really like it. I give it a really, really good review. Uh, I call it uh, Risk on Steroids. It's like the game Risk, but on steroids because you control everything. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more cool game reviews. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back. Again, thanks for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.